In this video, you'll see how to enhance query performance using AWS Glue Data Catalog Statistics. With this capability, you can integrate column statistics for AWS Glue tables with AWS Analytics Services to accelerate query performance and gain cost savings. In this demo, we'll use AWS Glue Crawler to crawl an Amazon S3 bucket, extract the metadata, and store it in the AWS Glue Data Catalog. Next, we'll generate comprehensive column statistics for the crawled data. Finally, we'll run queries in Amazon Athena and Amazon Redshift Spectrum to evaluate the impact of the column statistics on query performance. The following diagram illustrates the solution architecture that will be implemented in this demonstration. Now let's get started. To begin, let's review a few resources that we've already set up. This Amazon S3 public bucket contains a 3 terabyte industry standard TPCDS dataset. We've already created an AWS glue crawler to extract the data and store it in a database. Here, we can see the crawler properties, including the IAM role and database name. Our S3 bucket has been configured as the data source. Notice that we've already run the crawler. Here we can see the table and partition changes performed for the first run. These are all the tables that were created in the database. We've created a second crawler to generate an identical database that we'll create column statistics in. This will allow us to compare query performance between the two databases later in this demo. Let's see how to generate column statistics for a table in that other database. We can generate statistics for all columns or for specific columns that we want to use in our queries. In this case, we'll select all columns. Row sampling can be used when the dataset is potentially large and approximate results are acceptable. In this case, we'll generate column statistics for all rows to ensure accuracy. Next, we'll choose an existing IAM role that has access to create data from our S3 bucket. Now let's generate the statistics. This tab shows the name and type of each column, along with the default statistics that were computed. For example, we can see the CC company name column has a string data type. The average length, distinct values, and max length statistics were generated by default. Next, let's navigate to the Amazon Athena Query Editor to evaluate the impact of the column statistics on query performance. To get a baseline of how long the query takes, we've run a query on our database that doesn't contain any statistics. The total query runtime was 37.6 seconds. The planning time was about 3 seconds, and the execution time was about 34 seconds. We've run the same query on the database containing the column statistics. The data pane shows that statistics have been computed for each of these tables and includes timestamps for when they were last analyzed. The same information is shown for the columns within each table. For this query, the total runtime was 13.8 seconds, which is more than a 50% improvement in query performance. The planning time increased because the cost-based optimizer looks at multiple query plans before it selects the most cost-optimized one, but the execution time was reduced to only 8 seconds. Next, let's navigate to the Redshift Query Editor to continue our performance testing. Again, we've already run a baseline query on the database without column statistics. The total elapsed time was more than 158 seconds. We've also run the same query on the database containing column statistics. This query only took 55 seconds, which again is more than a 50% improvement in query performance. You've just seen how to enhance query performance using AWS Glue Data Catalog statistics. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.